Our vision for 5G is a unifying connectivity fabric that can connect virtually everything around us. Today, 5G is already connecting millions of enhanced mobile broadband devices such as smartphones and always connected PCs. In 3GPP release 17 and beyond, we are scaling 5G down to address the needs of lower complexity IoT devices. In this video, we have two technology demonstrations that showcase new 5G capabilities that will enhance IoT connectivity. Five G NR Lite, also known as RedCap in three GPP in release seventeen, scales down five G NR to support a maximum bandwidth of twenty megahertz and one antenna in sub seven gigahertz frequencies. It bridges the gap between five G NR EMBB and five G massive IoT solutions such as NB IoT. The continued evolution of NR Lite in release 18 and beyond will further scale to even narrower bandwidths and enable new capabilities including side link and positioning. Here is a simulation setup. The 5G wide area network operates in the 2.6 GHz spectrum with 100 MHz bandwidth. Urban layout with 21 cells and 500 meter inter-site distances assumed. The baseline scenario has only release 15 EMBB devices and it currently has a low resource utilization. For many IoT use cases such as wearables and industrial sensors with limited data needs, cost efficient NR Lite solution is more suitable. In our simulation, we add a large number of single antenna 20 MHz 5G NR Lite devices to the network. The total network resource utilization increases marginally and the impact to the overall network performance is minimal considering an order of magnitude larger number of devices being supported. In conclusion, 5G NR Lite devices utilize narrow bandwidth and they can more efficiently support lower complexity IoT devices. The simulation also shows that they can coexist efficiently with other types of devices. We are excited to drive the continued evolution of 5G NR Lite in release 18 and beyond. Another area of our research is focusing on how 5G can evolve to improve its support for low power IoT devices that require wide area coverage. In this demonstration, we will look at how co-channel Sidelink, the direct communication between devices, can enable effective coverage extension in a 5G network. To showcase a mesh networking architecture, we have set up our test network with a single small cell with 100 MHz channel bandwidth at 3.5 GHz on top of the garage. Its coverage is limited due to the limited transmit power of 400 milliwatts. The IoT device is a low power sensor, which needs to connect to the network that is more than 400 meters away. To facilitate this communication, multiple mesh IoT devices are placed in between the small cell and the end IoT device. Know that all IoT devices share a 5 MHz subband inside the cellular channel with compatible TDD patterns. The first mesh device is located about 125 meters away from the small cell near the edge of its coverage area. Mesh device 2 is located about 100 meters away from device 1 across the street. Mesh device 3 is more than 100 meters away further down the street. And mesh device 4 is about another 150 meters down from device 3. In the initial scenario, the IoT sensor is outside the direct coverage of the wide area OTA test network. And we can see that it is unable to communicate with the small cell. When we add mesh IoT devices into the network, Network coverage is extended via the multi-hop connections. The mesh device 1 has wide area connectivity to the small cell. Subsequent connections between different mesh devices utilize inband side link communications. The sensor data from the end device is shown to be efficiently relayed back to the network over three hops. 
In conclusion, 5G device mesh networking can effectively extend the coverage for low-power LT devices within the same cellular channel. This technology also enables connectivity for a large number of IoT devices through a single wide area connection to the network and potentially makes 5G IoT deployment more cost efficient.